Today, I'm heading to Cook County, Illinois to look for a Ross's gull. Ross's gulls are rare visitors from the Arctic that don't frequently make it down to the lower 48 states. The bird was first spotted the previous day, and I'm heading down first thing in the morning in hopes that it's still there. Derek here from Badgerland Birding, headed down to southeast of Chicago to look for a Ross's gull. And that's a, a really rare bird. I'm sure a ton of people are going to be out looking for it. It was seen yesterday. It's an immature, so it has that nice black M pattern on the back. Um, if you've never heard of one before, they're really adorable. They live in the Arctic, so it's always rare when one comes down. Um, it's a little snowy out there, so we'll be safe on the way. And uh, hopefully it's still hanging around. It's kind of one of those times where we're just going to go and, and see what happens, go early. But hopefully it's spotted and we're able to see it and be a lifer for me. Um, and just an awesome bird to get for the U.S. After the morning commute, I stopped at Rainbow Beach, one of the places the gull was last seen. In the parking lot were a few different gulls, just not the one I was looking for. <coughs> Out on the water was a pair of white wing scoters and a few red-breasted mergansers. I checked out another stretch of beach, adding bufflehead to my list for the day. With many negative reports coming in from other birders, I decided to stop by and visit the local monk parakeets, which I found hanging out on some power lines. Native to South American grasslands, escape birds and or released pets have established colonies in urban areas throughout the United States, and these charismatic green parrots are always an interesting sight to see. Without any gull reports all morning, I headed back to Wisconsin until the bird was refound a few days later. This time, I waited to make sure it was seen in the morning before taking the trip down. Ross's gull take two today wasn't seen for two days. So the day that I went down after was seen, wasn't seen that day, wasn't seen the next day, rediscovered yesterday. And I just found out too late. I could have gone yesterday and it was seen in the morning, but I kind of stopped checking. So I was just like, well, it hasn't been here for two days. And so today it was reported this morning, I'm gonna go see if it's, uh, if it's still there. Be awesome bird to see for sure. Before leaving, I requested access to a private group to get faster updates on the gull. This turned out to be crucial for the day. So I joined the Cook County Group Me page and everybody's been super great and helpful, um, but just like starting to go down and the reports are like, um, here's where to park, and then report the bird just flew north to Rainbow, headed there now. Rosgall just flew to the breakwater at Steelworkers, so two different parks, just appeared back at Steelworkers. So it's like, it's, it was, it's here, now it's here, now it's here. Reminds me of the scene from the big year where they're um, chasing that bunting. It's like, the bunting flew up the hill! The bunting flew down the hill! Go back! So hopefully it'll be in view and we can pinpoint its location. Um, it always helps to be in like, those group chats or those, you know, places where people are reporting information more quickly. While driving, I could feel the anticipation building of possibly seeing this rare bird. 26 minutes to Ross's gall. It's currently feeding is the word on the street and kind of stuck in a little bit of Chicago traffic, the joys of Illinois birding. But hopefully in 26 minutes, I'll be looking at my life for Ross's gall. I arrived near the gull's last known location, and the line of vehicles told me I was probably in the right place. We just got to the spot, so now we're walking out. And uh, apparently the gull's been feeding by the shore, so I'm pretty optimistic that it'll still be there, but you never know. I walked down to the water with some other birders, when suddenly a small white gull flew up into the air from the water. It was the Ross's gull. Got the Ross's gull. Before I even got to the main part, it was flying in the channel. It is so small and so cute. Really acrobatic movements it was making. It went further out into the uh, more open area. So hopefully it'll kind of be making its way back, maybe even sit. I think it was sitting before I got here and then kind of as soon as started walking in, it, it flew up. So hopefully it'll come back, but really awesome to get that bird. Such a cool, rare species. While the gull was flying over the open water, I noted some other species in the area, including red-breasted mergansers and horned grebes. Eventually, the Ross's gull returned and landed next to the break wall. It slowly floated closer towards the shore, giving all birders present incredible views, seemingly unfazed by the presence of people. 
The Ross's gull is a small arctic gull that breeds in tundra and winters along northern ice edges. They have a rounded head, wedge-shaped tail, and can sometimes appear dove-like. Breeding adults have a thin black necklace and gray wings, and a pink wash on their bodies. Immature birds have a bold black M pattern on their upper wings. Ross's gulls feed mostly on fish and invertebrates, including small insects. Their feeding habits are interesting, and they have been seen acting like phalaropes, spinning in the water catching prey, or like plovers scanning the shoreline for invertebrates, or foraging out on the open water. During nesting, small colonies of Ross's gulls can sometimes be found near nesting arctic terns. That was insane. Eventually the gull came in, landed, and then a bunch of us were kind of by the beach area and it just floated in and hung out there for a while. Um, not sure exactly how healthy it is, kind of it was just dipping its beak in the water, which I feel like is a behavior where it looks like it's eating but it's not really doing anything. So a lot of the times these arctic birds, they're sick or something's going on with them and they don't necessarily last a long time. So hopefully this one gets uh, healthier, flies back to where it's from, but really cool to see it up close. Still an adorable bird. Flew back into kind of the middle channel area, so now it's uh, in flight flying around, and just an incredible experience with this little cute arctic bird. I enjoyed views of a kestrel with some prey before taking the walk back to my car and making one more important stop before calling it a day. I felt thankful to have been able to spend time with this rare, tiny arctic gull, and it was definitely worth the trip. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Badgerland Birding. Yeah.